Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we discussed about the Stripe cards and token. We also created tokens and assigned payment methods to customers on Stripe. Now in this lecture, we will discuss about creating charges on Stripe. The Stripe charge API is used to charge customer for the requested amount. We can use Stripe charge dot create API for creating charge on the Stripe. Let's check out this on Stripe API reference. So here you can see that this API needs some arguments to create the charge for customer like uh, amount, currency, source, description and so on. Okay, here amount and currency are the required attribute arguments or attributes that you must pass while creating a charge and other attributes like source, customers, description are the optional. Okay. And here a source can be anything. I mean this source can be a token ID or a card ID. You just need to make sure that if you are using card ID as source, then you must pass the customer associated with that card. Okay. And we already discussed into the last lecture that a token can be used only once into Stripe. So if you are using token ID as source, then you cannot use this token for any other use. Okay. But in our application, we are using Stripe tokens to create cards for customer. That's why we will create charges using card ID as source and Stripe customer ID. Okay. So let's try to create a charge from our Rails application. Okay. So let's open the Stripe service class and there we will add a method to create the charge on Stripe. Okay. So let's define that method inside the Stripe service class. So here you can see that I am at the Stripe service class. Okay. And now I need to define the method here. Let's say def create Stripe charge Stripe charge, and we will accept some arguments here when we call this method. Okay. From anywhere when we create account. Okay. So what arguments we will require? So we will mention already here so that first we need amount. So we will uh, use amount to be passed amount to be passed uh, sorry amount to be paid okay and then as the next argument what we will require that we will require the customer id stripe customer id so we will use stripe customer id and at next what we need that we need card id okay and as the next argument what we will require that we will require workshop okay this workshop is our uh, local argument however it is not required in the stripe because i am just to format i will just format a message to show the formatted description that why we are charging or for what thing we are charging the customer so i am accepting the workshop argument here and it is totally optional if you do not want to add the description attribute in your stripe charge api okay but i would like to i would like you to give this a try because you it, that way you will know that how to add customized description with the stripe charge okay now this is amount, amount to be paid is the total number of sheets that we want to book into registration fees for a workshop for example if a customer wants to book 10 sheets and the per person cost or registration fees for the a particular workshop is 100 rupees then it must he must pay 10 crores 100 so it would be 1000 rupees okay so amount to be paid here is 1000 and stripe customer id is the already customer in our application which is created on the stripe and card id will represent the payment method associated with that customer and workshop is the our local workshop model object okay now in this method we need to capture the we need to call the stripe create charge api okay so let's copy this stripe charge create okay and we will pass everything here just copy this and paste it here okay and let's properly indent it okay and here we will pay amount to be paid okay amount is amount to be paid cross or into 100 okay and why i am adding 100 here or why i am multiplying the amount to be paid by 100 i will explain later in this lecture itself okay and now you can change currency 
uh, to USB. Okay. However, it is not a uh, uh, condition here. You can choose whatever currency your business area supports or whatever the origin of your company. Okay. And whatever the currency supported by that origin or area you can mention here. Okay. But I am supporting USD. Okay. Now I will, I am leaving this source for empty source value empty for now and here i'm using customer okay and keeping this as empty for now okay and here you can see i want to customize this method okay so what method i can write here that uh, for example here you can see that it has a static description that what for uh, what is this charge for so you can see my first charge created for api dogs okay and similarly i can format this message that this amount is paid for that particular workshop okay so let's format this so we can add amount and dollar because our currency is us so we will add dollar okay amount to be paid amount to be paid charged for and here workshop dot name okay now you can remove the last and here the source id will be the card id okay and customer id will be the customer associated with that card okay so to get this card id and source id what we need to do that we need to get it from our stripe customer dashboard so you can uh, come to the stripe customer list okay and let me come to the list first and i will show you that how, how how you can get this uh, card id and customer id okay so go to any customer okay here you can see that i have a, we created this customer in last lecture tarak sharma so you can go to the detail page of this customer okay and from here you can get this okay this is the customer id okay so we need it so what we can mention here that stripe customer id okay and this will be this stripe customer id argument okay we are accepting it okay and as the source you can add card id okay and this is the card id that we are getting as an argument here okay now let's save this and open the rails console and in this rails console what we will define that we will uh, define the variable stripe customer id card id workshop and amount to be paid and then we will instantiate the stripe service class and then we will invoke this create stripe charge method okay so let's clear the console first okay now let's define a stripe customer id equal to the id we copied from the stripe okay so you can paste it here and now let's say card id it will be this you can get this card id from the payment method of the customer okay so you can copy this this is the card id just copy this and paste it in the terminal paste it here now you can see that we have card id as well now as the next argument you can see what we need that workshop we need workshop here so we can instantiate workshop like workshop equal to workshop dot first okay and so we have workshop here as well now what we need we need this amount to be paid so for example we right now we can take a static amount let's say 2000 rupees 2000 not rupees <laughs> we will be paying in usd so amount to be paid is 2000 okay now we are all done we created this stripe uh, create stripe charge method and now what we need to do we need to instantiate this stripe service class so let's do that stripe service to type service dot new okay let's instantiate this and now we need to invoke this method stripe service dot just copy this method here create a stripe charge and we have all these arguments in, defined inside the console so we can directly call, call this method okay so let's run this but before uh, calling this method let's uh, store this charge inside a variable so you can create say charge equal to stripe service dot create 
strike charge okay so submit this request now you can see that a charge has been created so now if you want to see this charge object you can display it so you can see that this is the information we get inside the charge so this is the id of the charge you can see what amount we have and amount captured you can see that the amount was multiplied by 100 okay now i want to tell you that why i multiplied 100 because stripe accepts the payment in cents okay so if you only pass 2000 then it will only accept 20 okay it will not accept the 2000 so to pay actual amount you need to multiply your amount to be paid by 100 okay so here you can see this is the data and you can see the description as, is always there uh, amount dollar 2000 charged for full stake ruby on range development bootcamp okay now let's verify this charge on the stripe dashboard okay so let's go to the payments tab and inside this payment step you can find the go to the succeeded payments okay and here you can see that we created this payment right away the customer is tarak sharma at the rate example.com and you can see let's open the details of it okay so you can see that what amount we paid two thousand dollar currency usd and succeeded here you can see that details of customer is tarak sharma and payment method is mastercard 444 at the last and here are the payment details this is the description that we just formatted and this is the amount sorry this is the amount that we created and this is the statement descriptor and all that okay and you can see this is the detail of payments as well card id okay and the last four digits of card card expiry date card type okay so that's it okay so what we done in this lecture so we created method for creating stripe charges for customer okay for now we just provide static data like uh, amount was static and uh, workshop was uh, static okay and the stripe customer id and card id we already created okay now in the next lecture what we will do that uh, we will allow users to submit the booking form that we created here okay so you can see here that we have this booking form created so in the next lecture we will allow customers to book the workshop tickets using this form okay so when they submit first we will save the customer into the database our local database and then we will create uh, the customer on stripe and then we will create the card for them and then we will implement the charge api from them as well and we is we are going to use this stripe service class okay because we have all the basic things that is required to fulfill the flow or with that is required to implement the complete payment flow for the customer okay so we can use all these methods like find or create customer create card token create stripe customer card and then create stripe charge okay so but by the way let's give this stripe charge api a try at your end first okay so thanks for watching this and let's meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care stay safe